Buongiorno, my Sock Universe. Finally, the time has come to record the review for my most favorite league. It's not only my favorite league because my favorite team is in there. Now, when I grew up, this was the best league. Unfortunately, as European performances show, it's uh, at the moment definitely not. However, it's, I think, still the most entertaining to watch. But I also find, uh, from a jersey point of view, that Serie A jerseys are among the most collectible ones because you have this perfect balance between really big teams that have loads of history um, behind them uh, that are also kind of each of them a little bit distinct and smaller teams that have very, very interesting and different designs uh, that can be very distinct, but there's also a slightly connecting stuff there. I used to say it's very colorful, but uh, here's the background that I've chosen. You can see it is all done. I gotta say, uh, having lost Parma last season definitely uh, reduces splash of color, and I'm including Venezia up, <laughs> Venezia up there. That add, I actually add some color, but I find myself as as of late when I look at my Serie A jer jerseys, hmm, it's very very a lot of, a lot of blue, and if they're the rest, they're just a darkish red. So I'm um, yeah, getting a little bit uh, not saying worried, but uh, you know, a, a little bit annoyed at that because I still think that a Serie A is one of the most colorful leagues out there. Okay, uh, after all this uh, showing my love to uh, the Italian league, which teams will you find in this video? And I do it as I always do. I take out last season standings and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the final standings. And every team with a 1 next to it is in this video. And then I sort those teams more or less how I would call them. So we start here with Cagliari, then we go to Inter, blah, 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 and so on and, and so forth. Another uh, nice problem in a way is uh, the jersey that I choose for the background, because no matter how I choose it, if I take one jersey and I put 13 teams, different teams up there, there's always one team that I have to drop uh, in my collection. I also have a uh, total of 15 Serie A teams, which actually uh, allows me to showcase a few. So I'm planning to keep the top four from last season always up there with the seeded team in the video up there and then swap things around and, you know, also put a focus on the teams that are in this video just behind me. And then I wear one of these and I decided on this wonderful torino shirt yes darkish red but if you have don't have one of these the material is so soft this is probably the nicest uh jersey material that i have ever had so a really really great jersey i have talked a lot already so let's dive into uh the jerseys and we'll start actually in the south at Galleri, um who are again uh, with adidas and I don't know, I really love my Macron uh, Cagliari jerseys ever since Adidas took over. The one thing that I think that did well is, yes, uh, we took a little bit uh, red, went a little bit brighter. But last season they had the white, the white sleeves. This season, um, yeah, what's that? This gradient, I mean, I know this is this uh, Adidas this season really likes the hexagonal um, uh, gradients in there and they throw this all over an iconic jersey. I do like the sleeves uh, going back and forth. I actually do like the sponsor, although it's a whole lot on there, but just this, uh, I guess it's a horse. This picture of the horse looks really, really nice and there is a little bit, you know, it's uh, Sardinia, Sardinia. Um, is on, 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 on there, so I can see actually some uh, connection which actually makes it fit quite nicely on there. But I can't look past the gradient. It kind of gives a red a weight that it should not have. And oh yes, I know the shoulders are blue and so on. Um, it just doesn't quite... Yeah. It's weird. Let's put it that way. It's weird, and for that reason, I give it four stars. I do have to say, though, the away jersey, yes, it's a template. 
But it's one of those templates where I'm thinking, yeah, this almost looks like custom made. I really do like this one. Now, uh, one thing that I would have loved a little bit more is, you know, all these brush strokes that are on there. They're all, all in red. A little bit of a gradient blue would have worked uh, quite well there. But I love the um, uh, color. I love the sleeve curves. Uh, there's blue on top. As I said, a little bit more blue in there. But uh, that is something that I find uh, a, a, as a rather attractive jersey. Jersey. Um, I think seven stars with that one. However, Adidas keeps uh, disappointing with the third jersey. Yeah, that's the template that Sheriff used. Uh, I do like the, I mean, as a third jersey, the colors are actually really nice. I mean, take the light blue base and then uh, both of the club's colors really uh, stick out and you can make something. Yeah, okay, this is the C and then there's the crest and whatever. You know, I'm making up stuff. Uh, but you know, it's exactly how it looks like. But, uh, this hexagonal pattern here, it doesn't look like much, honestly. This is a little bit what uh, bothers me and also what comes here on the sides. Uh, I also find not all too attractive. So I guess I really like the color. The template is so and so. Um, five or six. Because the colors fit, I would say. Let's go six and we move on further to last season's champion. And now for Inter, this is uh, a little bit bittersweet. First off, the home jersey here in the sponsorless comfy configuration would be a perfect Inter third jersey. Yes, third jersey. I love the snakeskin pattern. I love the pixelation. Uh, I and we'll talk of, about the crest in, in just a sec. Uh, the new crest in gold. Uh, it looks really, really nice this way. However, the problem is yes, there are some black dots in there. The problem is it looks more like navy blue, light blue, which is not inter. Even in play, this looks like a navy blue jersey. Yes, it's nice, but it's not inter. However, I have to say, in this configuration, I have already, and I'm a Milan fan, I have been contemplating getting this shirt. There is something about it that I really, really like. There's a lot of craftsmanship going on there. And as I said, in this exact configuration, uh, yeah, maybe with a Scudetto, but you know, better not get reminded that Inter won the championship. In this configuration, I do like it. Maybe too much blue and too little black. I And I don't understand why... You could not make the dark really much more black than it, than, than it is. So that, that was when, when it came out, it, it, it was really a disappointment. And that's why I'm saying this would have been a perfect third jersey. Because you could have a, a regular blue and black striped home jersey. Maybe even make the... And, and that was the first um, kind of leak that I saw of this, this jersey. It was a classic black and blue. And within the blue, you had the snake skin pad pattern. That, I think, would have even worked uh, better. But this way, yeah, not great. However, uh, to really mess up this jersey, Inter switched from the uh, Pirelli sponsor, which, for historic reasons, I'm not too unhappy about Pirelli and Inter. is so iconic that I do mourn that a little bit. To this one. Socios has come into fan token. I mean, it's a three line sponsor, the dollar sign, it just doesn't look right. And to add insult to injury, the sleeve sponsor is at least also in gold, but the main sponsor is in white. I mean, you have everything in gold, and then there's the white. The only thing in white should, should be the white from the Italian flag on the Scudetto. So not only is the sponsor ugly, but it also completely destroys the overall feeling. And now we have to talk about the new crest and I'm not gonna get too crazy about it. I know I've, I've heard uh, people not liking it and, and, and so on. I mean, let's face it, the old Inter crest is not made for the digital age because yes, there were the four FCIM, four interlocking letters on a really nice golden uh, background, but it was white on gold, so you don't, don't see. So it had to be simplified and I actually do like that they went for I and M. Um, I also know that this is a very, uh, it's a good logo that, you know, on on, um, um, on the internet, uh, it scales very, very nicely and, and it remains recognizable. Uh, and you kind of have still the golden shape. What I, or the round shape uh, there, what I do not like necessarily is that the letters are a little bit overemphasized. 
you know, the I uh, with the serifs and then the M, uh, you know, sticking out and I know there should be the, the Duomo in there. I don't see it. But then uh, you also have the side thing is next to the M kind of to double up the circle in a way. And I know if you take it away, it doesn't maybe look as, as, as nicely. But to be honest, I think this is a bit too much and too weird. And again, to top it all off, you release this crest uh, where the letters are in white. Uh, you have a blue background and then you have a black outline, which is supposedly crest. And as we'll see, none of the jurors this season use this. Here is monochromatic in gold and, you know, what, whatever the background. I think gold and black the background, which also doesn't make too much sense to me. So yeah, there's a whole lot to say about this jersey. I think it's one of the uh, most talked jerseys this season. And I said, I would love this jersey to bits if it was a third jersey and if it didn't have that ugly sponsor. That ugly sponsor really takes it down a couple of notches to, 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 to me. And a jersey that if it was a third, third jersey, I would easily give a 10 star. As a home jersey, I already have starting at eight and then I have to knock it down to seven because of the um, sponsor. I'm sorry to say, uh, I still, I'm hopeful that it will go, I will find it maybe somewhere on sale. Maybe, I'm not really into the inter jersey at the moment because I'm well covered with the third jer uh, jersey in my uh, 2000s uh, inter home jersey. So uh, I'm okay there, but you know, it looks nice. I actually would like to have a white one. And when I saw the first drafts of the away jersey, I actually was in instantly, intrigued by it um again the sponsor here is maybe maybe it actually nice, but it still it's an ugly sponsor i think a pirelli would fit here much nicer i do like the sleeve cuts i do like the snake and the reference and um full disclosure ever since a boy i have loved my reptiles you see here i have a little crocodile and i have dinosaurs on around my desk all over so i really like my reptiles and i'm not afraid of snakes so i love this uh thing but I know this is a reference to the, uh, was it the 11, uh, 11, 12 away jersey? Or no, 10, 11, the 10, 11 away jersey, 10, 11 away jersey, where they had on the one side the snake. But there we had at least the head of the snake. Where is the freaking head? I mean, this looks creepy because you have the tail going here and then all the body, but where's the head of the snake? Can we please have a head? Other than that, the grass thing is, oh, this looks really great. I even think that the logo here could be used in full color, not just a black outline. So, you know, see, you already da, 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 da. I like the idea, but I think this is, it's a little bit of a miss and I'm also gonna give this seven stars, although this is another jersey that, uh, to be honest, when I saw first rumors about this, I said, this might be a jersey that I wanna get. Yeah, not so sure anymore. I think they did it better. Now, and then the third jersey, um, Inter in black, okay, you have one in blue, bluish, kind of the home jersey, you have the black one, that's great. You reference one of the most iconic away shirts, uh, and I probably have to tell the story another time. My brother used to have that one, uh, in any case. But why all the color? I mean, if you don't do it, I honestly, if you don't do this in the original configuration, then at least make a black jersey and make it then in blue and white uh, on the front or something like that. To me, this is way too colorful in many ways. And also the application, you have the intercrest here in green and blue. And I think on the pants, it is a yellow and orange and so on. So uh, there's a whole lot of color in there. Again, template, nice. Design idea, great. They have been trying to put this on the home jersey uh, two seasons ago, which I didn't like. Uh, a shirt doesn't look bad. Uh, the sponsor gets a little bit lost in there, which is not a bad thing because of all the color, you don't see the black sponsor anymore. So I think this is actually a positive uh, here. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it was not a shirt that screams Inter, but as a third jersey, I think I can go it. So I actually, is this the best looking of the bunch? Probably it is. Eight stars. Inter overall good. The sponsor is ugly. The sponsor is really, really, really ugly. So we've talked a whole lot and we have only two teams in and we have already 50 minutes recorded. Uh, let's go to, uh, in a way, to the darling of the shirt community, which is, of course, Sampdoria. 
Uh, I have here the sponsor last version. I think the sponsor's below the band. Last season there were too many slivers. This one, perfect. I actually find it almost too naked. Uh, and that the fact that below the crest at the band that there's so much space, it actually does look weird to me. Uh, Sampdoria, look at this one with the ERG. That looks a little bit more balanced than have, having the all blue, but you know, everything uh, is in the green. I think what I would have loved maybe a little bit more, um, give me something on the neck. It looks a little bit too naked here and that's why despite it's very, very perfect. I'm gonna go eight stars here because it is a little bit too naked, but I do love this one. I think uh, if I was in a uh, store for another Sampdoria shirt, this would be right, 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 right up there. Although I think last season's um, away is the one. The current away, yes, this is a nicer color. I think this I like um, from the styling a little, a, a little bit uh, more. It doesn't look as naked. However, uh, there's too much space. You have this kind of the I don't know if it's crest of Genoa or, or it's just a shield from the Sampdoria. You have the um, uh, the uh, famous bands running across the shoulder, which I do like, but connect a little bit more. I do like the color uh, quite, quite, quite a lot but again it's a little bit on the naked side so I would wish a little bit more there. Uh, I'm also now I'm gonna go nine because I, I actually like that it's white and the colors are popping that's a wee bit itself nine uh, white white jerseys, by the way, jerseys in Italy, because they always do something interesting. Um, the third jersey is probably the most interesting one. Uh, here's the old sponsor with very mobile, which uh, the green is a little bit jarring, but it fits very well on the other two shirts, uh, at least last la la season. It takes, I think they had it in, was it 93 or whatever, uh, Mancini actually helped design the shirt because they had to play an op opponent where they couldn't show up in the blue or in the white. So they came up with this red jersey where they took, of course, the famous Sampdoria band, they put it around uh, uh, below the chest. Uh, just here we have it as a side strap. But you think there's a lot of straps and that's a nice uh, thing. You have the two blue stripes, but they're not touching the red. There's another little white stripe in there. And I'll let you venture a guess now, and if you don't know it, here's the solution why there's an additional blue stripe, because blue and red are the colors of Genoa. So in order to not have the Genoa touching, so to have blue on red, no, we have a little white in there, so Genoa is nowhere mentioned in there. Um, do like this one. Uh, that is another one that I actually, I, I, I find quite attractive overall. Um, and especially the, you know, I like, I, I, I'm a sucker for offsets and straps. So I'm also gonna go nine here. And we move on further to Sassuolo. Okay, Sassuolo, Puma. <sighs> okay, first of all, uh, we know that Serie A wants to ban green jerseys and we'll come back to that uh, a proper, proper, proper some other video. But Sassuolo will not be one of one of these mounties because uh, it's not a purely green jersey, there's some black in there. Um, I actually, I have some liking for what they're trying to do here with, um, you know, you have a broad green stripe and then you have a broad black stripe, but a half of the black stripe is kind of gradient over. And you may say what you want, but the sponsor for Sosolo Solo always looked nice. Uh, it's just one mapai, but it looks okay. Um, I'm trying to guess now how do I like the gradient stripe. I, I think it's something interesting, something different. Um, so I, I'm bound to like it a little bit more, but it's also, you know, the jersey over is not too exciting. I think I'm gonna go six stars here. Uh, it should be fine. The away jer uh, jersey, they, they keep with the gradient, but to me there's too much green and too little black in there. Uh, I do like this uh, chevron in a way, but it kind of hides away uh, the puma and especially the crest. Smartly chosen a green and the black because the puma is black on the green and the solo crest is a little bit more green. So uh, it, it remains visibility. It is interesting. I would wish maybe a little bit more, but uh, the focus of the shirt is definitely the sponsor Mapai. Um, I also would have wished maybe that the collar either half half but uh, you know make the color green the sleeve cuts black i think this is where i'm going so also kind of middle of the part looks interesting but a little bit weird too so five stars i would say and then the away jersey yeah here you do um, tend to lose me a little bit uh but you know i know why they have it the checkerboard pattern in gradient though is always a little bit hard to take uh that i gotta say 
So yeah, I am at four stars here. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Newsflash, we will not make it in any way uh, to um, an under 20 minute video, video, but there's just a whole lot to say. We're at our last team and that is of course Torino and I'm wearing Torino, the last season's one, as I said, I really love this jersey and despite me not liking the Barretta placement, which we also have here, the problem, it's a really, really nice shirt. Now, uh, this season they go a little bit simpler. Hall is now the third jersey by Homa. The first one had a really nice shirt, uh, uh, polo collar in a way. Then we had this collar in white and now we go plain Granata. I don't dislike it, on the, on, on, honestly. I'm wondering if there's still the bull on there. I don't see the bull here. Uh, this one has kind of a bull on the side. Uh, this one, so it's very, very, very plain. Uh, and it has more or less the same configuration. You have the Suzuki, Beretta, Homa, and the uh, Club's Crest, and then the 38 uh, Weber on the sleeves. It's a simple jersey, but it's not a bad jersey. This is about as Torino as it can get in many, many ways. So I'm gonna stick with a grade that I've been given out quite some already. I would say seven. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it does not get better with the away jersey. I love this one. This is the same template that Villarreal has, except that the color, um, it just remains all white. And I think Hoffenheim had it as well. What I do love here is, uh, you have to look at this crest here and compare it. They made it monochromatic, but only in granata and white, and it looks in it looks almost better because here the gold is is nice in, in in a way, but there's also a little bit blue in here. Just having it like this looks really really nice, and then the sash, bang! I love me a sash on a shirt. But what uh, really is the coup de gras here is that the Suzuki goes within the sash. I know in other leagues it's not possible. I I kind of was a little bit um, how to say. Cringing uh, first. Is this allowed? Yes, it is allowed. It makes it all. It reminds me uh, of the Ajax jerseys of the 90s where you had the RBM AMRO uh, within the Ajax middle stripe. Very smart sponsor placement. Uh, if there were less sponsors, I would give this a even higher, high, high, high grade, but this to me is a nine star. It really looks great. And then uh, they go for the third jersey with yeah one of those flavors of the month in a way uh dark blue with gold and then the bull is all by itself which actually looks pretty cool the problem is the bull gets a little bit lost and then there's a kind of an overall pattern which yeah there are some bulls in there as well it's i like the color combination i think it is cool i just wonder with dark red jerseys where would you actually wear this one and i have not seen it so far so, uh, because away to Milan, you're definitely gonna wear the white one. Uh, so I'm wondering, you have to kind of come up with uh, with an opponent or you just wear it because you can. So for that reason, I am a little bit questioning it, um, but I think it's a nice look, a nice enough looking jersey and I would go with seven here. Seven, definitely the most uh, perfect grade. So far, I have to say this first video delivered quite some interesting shirts. Quite some shirts that I enjoyed, uh, but you know, I always was a little bit nitpicky here and there. And this is where you come in. I really would like to know uh, which jerseys in this video did you like? Um, where do you agree with me? Where do you disagree with me? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see the next um, and other videos uh, of the Serie A review or any other league reviews that I've done. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.